Thank you, Lord Jesus, for being here today. Thank you for the Holy Spirit to be here today. God, I want to thank you for sending your Son to the earth to die for all our sins. Thank you for dying for our sins. Thank you for rising into the heavens by the power of the Holy Spirit, the same Holy Spirit you gave to us, Lord. And what I would do, I would have uh, sing hymns, sing about five hymns, four hymns. And then we'll have a healing service. Because you people out there that don't believe in healing, challenges, your needs, because you're not crippled, some of you, you're not blind, but you are crippled, because you're in a box, you can't get out, you're bound into poverty, because you don't think you can make more. Some of you out there think you're saved and you're not. You think you know Jesus, but you don't. Hmm. You've been coming to church for 30 years and you still don't know the Lord. So we, right now we're going to spend some time with the Lord. We're going to spend five minutes with the Lord. When you get home, spend another five. And get in the practice of spending time with the Lord. We come before you, Lord. And we bow down in your presence, Lord. Because you're everywhere. We don't have to be in a church building. We can be our bedrooms. And the Lord will be there. We can be in our cars. And right now we're in someone's home. And we call down the presence of the Lord. He was here before we even said that. He was here before we said that. He's everywhere. Ask someone in war if he's in the foxhole with him. He's there. Take all the challenges and problems we have and give them to the Lord. Turn them over to Him right now. Not to be anxious for anything. Let Him order your steps. He may want you out of work right now. So you can spend more time with Him. He may want you out of work. 
works he has to trust you on. He may want you in the hospital right now to, to rest and be with him. Shut the TV off and spend time with the Lord. I used to spend too, too much time reading newspapers. It's okay to read newspapers, but just don't let them become an addiction. Don't let them take control of your life. Let Jesus take control of your life. Spend a few times thinking about it. A, few, a little time right now. A few minutes thinking of Jesus right now. What he did for you. It's just reading in the Bible this morning how how he appeared. And uh, they call it the uh, maybe someone can help me on it. The uh, trans, trans something, what is it called? When he appeared and got bright, so bright, his clothes appeared brighter than the sun. Transgression, trans, transfiguration. I just, I just remember, folks. My brain is coming back. Transfiguration. Amen. Now my brain was there all along. I just forgot. I, I was thinking of my wife instead of the Lord. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> we got a jealous God, folks. Don't put your wife before the Lord. Don't put your husband before the Lord. Don't put, put your car before the Lord. Don't put your house before the Lord. Your clothes, Lord. Don't let anything come between you and the Lord. He's a jealous God. Don't let the church building become between you and the Lord. Wow. That's right. <clears throat> Don't let the church building come between you and the Lord. That's right. Amen. Because we are his church. Thank you, Lord. We are his body. Malakodia Shiva. Praise you, God Almighty. And that wasn't meant for you people. That was meant for God. We don't need a translation right now. It wasn't meant for any of you. Praise you, God. And don't speak tongues out of order. It's meant for God. That's right, amen. It's meant for God. Thank you, Jesus, for praying for us all night long. Thank you for waking us up. Thank you for every beat of the heart. Thank you for every breath we take. Thank you for the milk we just had, the cereal, Lord. And the peach grown on the grown on a tree came from a pit just like you came from a seed hmm. you came from a seed less than the size of the of the head of a pin and yet some of you don't believe there's a God you might believe there's a higher power that's okay, as long as you believe that higher power is Jesus Christ, because Jesus Christ made this entire universe before you were born, before the earth started, Jesus was there as a spirit, then he came to the earth as a man, as a seed planted by the Holy Spirit in the womb of Mary. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Amen. Amen. Praise God. 